Hello guys, welcome to iDigital Concepts Tutorials. I want to appreciate you for finding this video. And if you are seeing any of my videos for the very first time, I want to specially welcome you to this YouTube channel. And I want to really appreciate you. The kinds of video I upload here, those with tips, tutorials and hacks, so if if you like this particular video kindly consider checking other videos on this channel and also hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new tutorial in this particular video i will be showing you how to enable dark mode on corridor i as a person like using applications on dark mode why do i like enabling dark mode on any application i use on mobile phone the reason is because it will reduce the amount of light that is entering into my eyeball but if you don't have dark mode enabled on your device you discover that the light that is streaming from the screen of your device will be affecting your eyeball especially if you don't use a light filter on your device say it is a laptop it is a desktop computer or a mobile phone you discover that the light will be affecting your eyeball and uh, it can actually lead to eye problem so i actually like using dark mode a lot and i have discovered a way by which you can enable dark mode on your laptop whenever you are using corridor so this video is going to show you how to set your corridor to dark mode let us go right into my screen as i show you how to enable dark mode on corridor So the first thing you do is to open up your corridor and you create a workspace. How are you going to open corridor and create workspace? Just go to your list of installed applications and look for corridor. Here is my own corridor. So just start it up. But I have already opened corridor on my own system. And the next thing to do is to create a workspace how are you going to create a workspace again you can come to file and click on new and the shortcut to that is ctrl n if you are using a mac laptop you click on command and n and a new a new dialog box is going to be open for you to customize the properties of your workspace so what am i going to do i'm going to create a name here just put any name there let me put tutorials then preset destination let me just leave it at rgb i like working on rgb because i do uh designs that are fitted for screens that are meant to be published online visually so letter i'm just going to leave it at letter then click on OK. So you can see that our workspace has been created. And uh, the next thing to do is to click on Ctrl J. If you are using a Mac laptop again, you click on Command and J button. So let us go ahead and click on Ctrl J. And immediately you do that, a dialog box is going to open again and then. Um, they immediately the dialog box opens up the first menu on the list of options there is the appearance so you select appearance then you come to the team tab here and you click on this drop down box you can select medium and as i am changing these options i want you to focus your attention on the workspace so that we see the changes that are being applied so come choose dark and immediately we choose dark you can see the drastic 
change that has happened to my workspace but i will not leave it like this i will even go for the darker one which is black so that is the dark mode for you and as you can see here our workspace has been customized it has been turned to dark mode and i can go ahead to choose other options for window border i can decide to use another color that is not the color we chose for dark mode so i can choose another color let me just choose something like uh brown or gray okay i think i'm gonna leave it like this or brick red this looks like a brick red color to me and then the desktop can also be customized oh, that's too much okay you can see how our workspace is looking now but let me just lighten this up a little bit all right So that the darkness will not be excessive i think i'm okay with what i'm seeing on the screen now so what you do after doing that is to click okay and what you have just done guys is that you have enabled dark mode on your corridor application and it doesn't matter the version of corridor you are using this actually works all right this actually works so thank you very much for watching this video if you have learned anything from this video i'd like you to click on the like button and also drop your comments in the comment section below thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i will see you in another video bye